So my daughter's been asking me for a while to fly to Coventry to her care home. Slight problem. It's very foggy. Hoar frost, you call it? I don't know. So it's frosty, it's foggy. You can see the sun trying to get through. Okay, pre flight checks. I'm good, fuel cap on. Spars are good. That's on, that's on. That's on, that's good. Speed bar is. Ah, reserve is not good. It's better. Let's be by lines. We'll be needing that, and that's all good. Trip to Coventry is not happening. Plan for this flight is to go to Coventry. Did try on Sunday, it was too foggy. And so today is Wednesday, a few days later. And beautiful conditions. The wind is variable. All paramotor pilots hate is the variable wind. So, which is unusual in the winter actually, you usually get that in the summer. Uh, very, very light winds, so let's just hope to get launched. The grass is soaking wet. Here he goes. Absolute perfection. Okay, take time. No I used to say that, I was just telling myself that. <laughs> Enjoy. Thanks, mate. So as you just heard, me and Lee are off to Coventry to brighten up the day of some residents in a care home. Kieran can't make it, unfortunately he had problems with his gear so it's just the two of us for this one. This is Joseph Morris Butchers where I get my meat. Good prices and good meat. daughter tells me that the residents are quite excited to see me and Lee. The care home is right on the edge of the city so we can fly in quite safely. This here is Newbold Revel which dates back to the 15th century when it was the home of Sir Thomas Mallory. During World War II it was part of the Secret Intelligence Service. This here is Coombe Abbey, which began its life in the 12th century. Princess Elizabeth, the daughter of James I, lived and was educated there from 1603 and has a connection to the gunpowder plot. So after about an hour's flying, we arrive at Coventry and find the care home. It took me a few minutes to find it among all the buildings. As you can see, plenty of land out options and we can probably even glide to the edge of Coventry itself. Someone was holding up an orange flag or blanket or something, so that really helped us to identify the building, so that was really good. The orange one! That was very sweet and a fun trip, really enjoyed that one. So after the care home we fly over Crick, uh, Draycott Water and then the GoPro battery dies. Hope you enjoyed, I think the residents enjoyed it as well, we thoroughly did too. If you want to see the photos, there's a link in the description to the photo album.